How's it goes? I'm mad. Damn, it's a small ghost gameplay. This is a cog ghost competitive. No, it's not actually. It's a, um, a cog ghost competitive tutorial on how to win domination. I know our team is quite good with this, but um, kind of what you don't want to do right off the spawn is uh, one person go for the home flag and two to three people, depending if you've got three or four people on your team, run through and try and get to where you want to be. But um, first, I want to talk about the gameplay in the background. The gameplay in the background is probably one of my better dominations. It, um, it's a hundred point one where we do get um, I think it's up to or something, but um, I do go quite big. I, I think nearly drop twenty one, but unfortunately I don't. And so yeah, after one person has capped their home, um, you want one slayer to go with the AR player to get in a power position. Once the AR is in a power position. Um, the OBJ and the two slayers um, try to pick off one or two people and get them down and then push would be as soon as two people are dead two people are dead three people must push for B or you, you have to wait for the next opportunity this can like put your team in a bad position and uh, when they can be you can either have two or three on it um, the AR player must cover them, and this is like the most vital thing in the game. If you wanna, you wanna um, be the first one to cap P, so you can um, get the point of the starts, and it'll be harder for them to cap it back up you because it's so long to cap time. Um, next is once you've cap B, and um, you want the AR player to hold off the map until the other player is in the position. Now, once this happens, you have three options. Uh, try for spawn trap. If you're not, if you're not confident with the spawn trap and you don't think you're gonna do well at that, then you could either hold them up, keep a two cap, and just uh, feel confident with that. I know it's kind of a good option. Or a slay and an OBJ player go on the flank onto the enemy home and um, try to cap, try to cap their home, but only do this when two people or more are dead. Otherwise, you will put your team in a bad position, and it will like it will hurt your lead if you do cap beat. Um, if they die, if you do decide to go for the flank and they die, then um, the last slayer alive, and the AR in a power position, but the last slayer alive, and um, try and move to a better position so you can see out see all across the map. And if you didn't know, an Octane will be probably at the blue fridge, or Freighter will probably be at the white train. Um, and if they do uh, um, manage to cap the enemy home flag, then um, then try and find the main spawn and get them in a spawn trap because this is kind of like the only thing that work. Or you could let them cap, um, let them cap a flag, probably A or C. But um, if you do do, if you do decide to go for the spawn trap. This could make it hard for your team as if one person pushes too far, could fuck up the spawns, and um, the enemy could end up getting the better of you. So uh, this is probably going to be the end of domination and uh, how to win domination. So thanks for watching, please subscribe if you enjoyed, and you'll see more ghost gameplay. And that, um, my link, my Twitter link will be in the description. So thanks for watching, please subscribe if you enjoyed, and goodbye.